live your best Ghostbuster moment? Yeah, we need some slime though and good vibes. Oh, we gotta play the music when we're out there. Mm -hmm. Here we Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And look at that behind us, the Freedom Tower. We are here at Lady Liberty, uh, Statue of Liberty on Liberty Island. So She's so big. Yeah, it's kind of a spur of the moment thing. We were here in New Jersey for something else, which we'll, we'll get into later, but um, thought we'd drop by the statue today and we even scored crown tickets. So we get to go all the way to the top to and check out the view. So uh, why don't you come on with us and we'll show you around. Let's go. It's the bridge over there connecting uh, Staten Island to Brooklyn. Yeah, there's Manhattan over there. And then Lady Liberty, looking awesome. So we just got here, so we're still trying to find our way around. So you can see there is a pedestal here and you can see people on it. So that is a separate ticket. If you just get a general admission ticket, um, you can go around most of the grounds, but you can't go up there. The pedestal ticket gets you up to the pedestal, and then the crown ticket's the only one that gets you to the top, and the crown includes the pedestal and the ground. So just a little tip if you guys are heading out here. See all the birds got their positions here, looking on to Manhattan. There's the Brooklyn Bridge over there. Birds. Yep, the Freedom Tower. Yep, and there's Empire. There's Empire State Building right there. Chrysler Building's being blocked by our view right now. And then, yeah, the Avengers Tower thing over there. And then that's Ellis Island, which we're going to next. And another bird. We're through security. About ready to go up to the pedestal and to the crown. Okay, right, and then up the stairs to the elevator i think that takes us to or up the stairs to more stairs to the pedestal and the crown yeah this room's kind of neat so we're now in the base of the statue yeah okay yeah so there's a restroom over there if you needed it Looks like there's multiple ways to go. There's a museum as well. So I think for us, we're gonna try to head up first and then we can, and then we can spend time looking at this stuff later. 195 steps to the pedestal. And then I think it's, <laughs> and then I think it's like 160 something steps to the crown.
Where do these stairs go? They go up. Alright, we're climbing. We're gonna take a breather. I'm tired. Now you know how it feels when I get electricity down my leg. <laughs> yeah, so we're kind of just at this little alcove, but we still have still have almost 100 steps to go. Fun facts while you're climbing. So these tension bars here. Well, Mark says this one's better view. So these these are what ground the statue to the pedestal, and you can see here our progress. So we have 45 steps to go. All right. Here we go. We're at the pedestal. We made it. So. Originally a cast iron stairway. Oh yeah, look. And you can see where it was along the wall. Very cool. All right. Oh yeah, look. That's the statue. And those going to the crown, which we are later, will go up that way. But let's go out to the pedestal. Yeah, that's why, so it's supposed to rain today, this afternoon. That's why I wanted to come up here, hopefully before it started pouring rain. And that's where we were, we were taking our photos earlier. Well, sort of, we were actually a little around the side. But that's where we docked on the boat. The airport's over there, and our hotel's that way. Yeah, so they're refurbishing the, the star base. Wow. It's got some <laughs> All right, let's go around. There's, there's Brooklyn over there, Staten Island. That's where we were earlier, guys. When we started this video. And there she is up there. It's really cool to see it from here. See all the detail in it. And really get an idea of how big she is. Cloud cover now, covering the uh, Freedom Tower. Good look at Ellis Island now. Here we go. We're gonna start our ascent to the crown on these tiny little stairs. There's the original staircase they pointed out. But, yeah, look how small. I barely see. Yeah, it's really narrow. And you can see here, we're about to go up to the top. And you can see her, her gown. I know, I pointed it out. It's really cool. You can touch it. Yeah, it's neat. Oh and you can see her, her gown and everything. This is really cool inside. Right 
I saw it. Well, it's a cover they're using. Is it's weatherproof? All right, but here we go. I'm not gonna film the whole thing, so I'm gonna put this in my pocket and I'll. Well, I'll see what I can do, but we're it's gonna. Dangerous. Yeah, we want to be safe, and we're gonna go up real slow. At this point, we're 90 stairs to the crown. There's the speaker. So when we spray it with slime, we play the good music, and we get her to walk. All right, 60 stairs to the crown. We're doing it. I'm dying. Yeah, we're both pretty tired. This isn't just like climbing stairs. It's a vertical stair, so you're lifting yourself up as you're climbing. Yeah. It's like maybe 40. We did it. I'll show you. Yeah, sorry we're so out of breath. We're out of shape. Very cool though. You can see the top of her hair. And as she stands here and looks out, welcomes all the visitors. So you can see how tight the stairs are a little bit. And there's a small platform up here. See her hair. See the temperature. See your arm and the torch. Can't quite see the torch, but he can. This is, I can see the base of it. And you can see her arm. Under the paint. Yeah, it's still browns on the inside with Peter on the outside. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and here's an idea of how skinny the stairs are. And there's Mars. And there's the spiral staircase that takes you all the way to the top. And then you get back down to this point. And this is the pedestal. <laughs> Alright, so we're just uh, taking a little breather, catching our breath as we're coming down from the crown. We're back on the pedestal. And uh, I'm all hot from the stairs, so that's kind of cool. Um, it is a little misty out here. I guess it was raining while we were up there. Um, but right now, it just feels misty. But um, yeah, so far, this has been really cool. Very glad we did it. Um, and there's plenty more to see here on the island. So you see behind me. This is really great. Um, like visitor center and some information. There's a museum downstairs. There's also a little snack shop. and gift shop and there's there's quite a bit to see here um, and then the ferry will actually take us back to Ellis Island because we skipped that and we have the opportunity to spend some time there um, the only thing that's working against us is time um, actually it's only 12 20 so I think the last ferry I want to say leaves at like four or five in the afternoon to head back towards Liberty Park which is where we started um, as long as we're on that we're good to go so plenty more to do. Um, this is great. This is uh, this is a place that I've wanted to see my whole life, and I'm glad we came here. Part of the reason I wanted to do it on this trip is if we do a Manhattan trip, this saves us the boat ride all the way out just for these two items, and we can we can check them off now. So um, thought that was cool. Um, this is very exciting. It's very like humbling to be here. Um, there's something really cool about it and how historic this place is. So. Anyway, we're going to continue our rest and then head downstairs. Okay, so we're still inside the pedestal, but this is the museum they have here. And here's one of the original armature bars. That's cool. Yeah, that's very awesome. And look at that. Yeah, I mean, and you can see the layers where they would have hammered this together. Very cool. And you 
gives you an idea here how they use them to piece them together. So we saw these as we were ascending. Not so much when we were descending, because I think we were staring at the steps. Wow, 62,000 pounds for this copper skin. But here's, here's how it stacks up against the Eiffel Tower. So the Eiffel Tower is very, very tall. production of how they would have done it. And photo of some of the folks. Same stairs that we are on. They have little outlets though, look. It's almost like little rest places to sit. <laughs> that would have been weird. Yeah. I wouldn't have sat on that. <laughs> Gives you a little bit of how they came to be shaping it. The wood frames they would make. Yeah, it's just, it's just amazing. And then look over here, well, they actually have pieces of it. Spring of 1884. Magnificent. Yeah. Here's a nice schematic of the statue, and what they're talking about is the major renovations they've done. The ship was passing uh, the Statue of Liberty. I thought it was a religious monument, you know. So period. I started That's to crazy. ask myself, you know, because she does look really Some of the notes when they first saw the statue, back. which I would imagine would have been amazing. I mean, it's and I it's a spectacle now, reading. even with modern engineering and everything. I can imagine back then it would have felt like impossible. different versions of the statue as souvenirs. My mom had one like that. Like the, one of these bronze ones, something like that. This is how I remember it. It was about that size too. Maybe about six inches. Could have been one of these, but I, I don't think so. Wow. So we're still in the museum area, but I just want to show you it's been raining outside. Not raining hard, but enough that people are bundling up. Cool little like bronze map over here. It's pretty detailed. 
underneath him. And we're back downstairs. And we're gonna head to whatever's next. We're gonna head towards the next museum and there's Lady Liberty behind us. Oh, it's raining harder. It's starting to rain. It's raining pretty harder now. <laughs> okay, here we go. It's Florida. We're going to the museum. Except it's cold. <laughs> bars that we saw in the other museum and they get the torch so it used to light up from the inside currently the way it is is it's a gold finish on the outside and it's exterior lit which makes it look like it's on <clears throat> yeah they had to change it to the that's how they changed it yeah you can see here how they changed the design and what it is now can you imagine working like that? I, I couldn't do it. And then you see the size of her face over there. You get some scale. And you can see here, this is the original torch. Pretty great. Look at the detail on this. And it's very cool to turn around and be able to see Lady Liberty scale replica of the face and you can put it you see the detail on it. Very very cool. Who knows? So we kind of saw some of this at the other museum but this is just a quick overview of how they would have scale modeled it scaled it to size, used different jigs to make sure it was accurate. Then they hammered the copper on it using the mold, making sure it was exact. And then there it is, big foot. And then the sandal are pretty cool. And they do encourage you to take pictures and to touch it. And it's, it's a full replica of her foot. Oh, huh? we're gonna. Have a seat on our foot. <laughs> Pretty sweet. We're leaving the visitor center. You can no longer see Ellis Island or Manhattan. Lady Liberty still standing tall though. She's doing good. There's Mars. We're gonna head over here. There's a gift shop and a small eatery. We might try to get a snack. And then I have a feeling we may try to head next door to Ellis Island, possibly. <laughs> yeah, I guess it, she almost looks flat at the moment, just the way the lighting is. <laughs> There's some signs for wafer points if you guys are ever out here, as well as this sign, planning your visit, tells you a little bit about it. There is an audio tour you can pick up for free of charge. You just have to find one of the information desks. We chose not to do that, but for anyone who's coming out to visit, that is an option for you. And that's um, the dock where we got here. So this building is actually one of the first that you would encounter. Oh, it smells like pine trees. Oh, it smells so good. It smells fresh out here. Yeah, these plants here. These... It's a pine. Yeah. Christmas. Very strong. Yeah, but it's a nice smell, but it's very strong right here. <clears throat> but yeah, here we come. Excuse me. All right. Oh, and there's the audio tour stuff. Small gift shop. 
And then next door is a cafe. I think there's another entrance to it. All right, we're leaving the store, heading up to the snack shop. And I think there's another gift store over here. Plenty of outdoor seating right now. <laughs> it's raining. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna go in here, see what we can maybe munch on. Alright, we're at the Crown Cafe. We're going to enter. Pick up a snack before we go to Ellis Island. Collectible coins, they got maybe pinning machines back there. Then we got Wide selection of looks like they got a wide selection of stuff. Hot entrees, pizzas and things. And over here they have a lot of grab and go, so that's nice. Quick snacks, which is great. So we got some awards over here. Look at that. Chicken Wars Champion, Burger Wars Champion, Beef. Master and it looks like Burger Wars champion. So, um, Crown Cafe cleaning up here. Here's another look at some of the menu items. And again, a lot more grab and go beverages. And so, um, to be honest, I think a great selection of stuff. Um, Slices of cake, and they have ice cream bars and things. Okay, and then there's our food. Mars got pepperoni pizza, actually a good size pepperoni pizza. It's in New York style. What is that? It's in New York style. New York style, huh? That's what they say. Mm -hmm. And I got a uh, hot dog with some onions and a black and white just cut. Figure that was kind of a New York thing. All right, now on to the gift pavilion. Still plenty of seating outside. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, the wood is slippery. Thank you. <laughs> All right, wow. Much bigger gift shop. And restrooms and drinking fountains and all kinds of stuff. All right, so I got my little gift bag here. I bought a small Statue of Liberty uh, um, statue and a uh, sticker that I collect. Um, we're about ready to get on the ferry and we're gonna go ahead over to Ellis Island now. Um, just want to throw out a few things. So we're here on a Sunday. It is rainy. It's in early December. Today's the 10th. Um, so I'm sure all of those play a factor into the crowds being less. Um, but it's worked out really well for us. So time-wise, the time that it took us to get from ground to the pedestal, um, to the crown, and all the way back down to the museum was 45 minutes. We spent maybe five minutes on the pedestal, maybe 10, somewhere between there, walking around, so not very long, and then we headed up. Um, we were up at the top for, yeah, probably under five minutes, and then we headed back down. So just trying to give you guys an idea, well, how long does this take when you're here? Um, that was what it took for us. As far as the museum and other things, it probably took us about a half hour, plus we watched a video, um, then coming here, getting a snack, and going to both stores, another half hour maybe. So that's kind of been our day. Um, but like I said, we were ready to head over to Ellis Island and um, it's still raining, but most of it's inside and um, we'll be able to see, see what we need to see there. and. We'll keep you posted, so come on. So we're about ready to get it back on the boat. I just wanted to show you how, how cloudy it is now. You can you can still see the statue, but look at this uh, over the water. You can't see anywhere around anymore. Here's Mars. I just learned that if you get the audio killer and you wear it on this bridge, it go, an alarm goes off to make sure you return oh. it. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. But you can barely see some of the land over there. Yeah, clock cover is just moving it. Hey guys, Fijerne here. Um, sorry for my messy hair and everything else. But uh, anyways, want to jump in here and cut this off. 
Uh, we're over a half hour already, and I just feel like adding the Ellis Island footage to the same video is going to be super long. So this is going to be a two-parter. Um, thanks for hanging in there, though, and watching this video of us exploring uh, Liberty Island. We had a great time, as you guys can see. Really enjoyed it. Um, both of us are big fans of just history in general, and um, being able to see this and, you know, it's such an icon and everything, being able to walk around was pretty amazing. Um, almost didn't feel real at times. Uh, so... Highly recommend it if you guys have a chance to go. I think it's kind of like one of those once-in-a-lifetime experiences, and I wouldn't trade it for anything. I'm really glad that we did it. Definitely recommend going all the way to the Crown. I know we were out of breath. Uh, it was a lot for us, but if you can if you can make it up there, I highly recommend it. I really think that's the way to go. Those tickets do go fast, though. I think we got really lucky. The fact that I was able to buy those the day before. If you guys are planning a trip and you guys are, you know, including Liberty Island and you are set on doing that, uh, check their website. I forget how many days in advance you can book. It might be as much as 60. Um, don't quote me on that. Again, uh, really check out their website. But definitely, definitely try to do that. I highly recommend it to anyone. So, And because I know I'm going to get asked about it, yes, I'm more than aware that's not the song the Ghostbusters played in the film. Um, but I wanted to play the Ghostbusters song when we were up there. Um, so that's why I played the main theme part, theme song by uh, Ray Parker Jr. Also, even though we didn't have any positively charged slime, I didn't know someone else may have. I didn't want to cause a mishap by, you know, by playing the other song. So we just left it at that. But for those of you paying attention, I'm sure someone will comment on that. Yes, I'm very aware that was a, a different song, but it's what we wanted to play. Anyways, um, please stay tuned for part two. Uh, hopefully coming out soon. It'll be of our Ellis Island footage. But thanks again uh, for watching. As always, we appreciate you guys checking in. Like and subscribe if you haven't. Uh, we're going to try to do more content this year. Um, as you can see, we're still catching up on, on old footage here. This is uh, you know a few months back. Actually, six months back. So... Anyways, thanks again, guys, and we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.